Welcome back to the channel guys, uh, this is Alex and in my last video I showed off my older iMac that I refurbished. I added an SSD and uh, ended up using DOS Dude One's patcher tool to get Mojave Onyx since it is a 2008 iMac it did not natively support Mojave I guess. So um, yeah. It booted up real fast on El Capitan. Everything's snappy, but I'm just making this video to show you guys that it is a little bit slower than El Capitan by quite a bit if you if you test it out. But I'm just going to demonstrate uh, boot times for you guys if anyone's wondering what it's like. So I'm going to shut the computer down. And there we go. It's gonna shut down, and it shuts down pretty fast too. So, so uh, well, at least it used to. <laughs> there we go. Now it's shut down, and I'm going to start it and demonstrate how fast it is at booting up. It's not the fastest. I'm giving you guys a heads up. So, uh, it's late at night. I was kind of bored, so I figured I'd just do a quick video demonstrating the speeds with a patched version of Mojave on a 2008 iMac. <clears throat> just in case you guys are wondering, it does have 4 gigabytes of DDR2 800 megahertz RAM. So it's really easy to slow this thing down. That wasn't too bad, I guess. That would be the SSD doing most of the work there to keep it uh sorry I'm just having my password yeah it, it would probably be the SSD that sped it up that fast uh the processor in this is a 2.66 gigahertz uh core 2 duo and it does only have let's just it is slow right when it starts up even though you're at the desktop it is still pretty slow if I just kept click, clicking there and start beach balling, and, yeah. So I'm just gonna let Steam load. Uh, can't connect to iCloud. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay. So just close Steam out since I don't need that. And here I was just gonna show you guys the specs. So in case you're wondering if someone else is doing this, this is the specs on this. IMAC. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I know you're probably coming here looking for uh, outdoor gear review or bushcrafting stuff, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, the COVID restrictions right now can't really go anywhere. And uh, even if I wanted to just do some bushcrafting around the yard and, or in the really close forests, it's pretty cold out. It's supposed to be like minus 25 Celsius for the next, I don't know, foreseeable days. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, oh, another quick note. I do have a second monitor right here. It's turned off right now. But uh, you, you can notice a lot of lag when it's connected to that versus when it's uh, just on the main screen because uh, the GPU in these things are pretty pretty weak compared to a modern Mac. Anyhow, if you liked the video, hit like. If you want to share, hit share. If you want to comment down below, go for it. And we'll see you in another video. Before I completely go, I thought I'd come back and just let you know that when this booted up, it loaded Chrome, uh, AirDroid, which is kind of like uh, AirDrop, but for Android, because I do have an Android phone and Steam and yeah and Steam so those all booted up right at the start which probably affected the load time I know Steam does but uh yeah and I think there's a couple tabs open on Chrome oh it's on my other monitor so I can't even open it up right now okay I just thought I'd let you know that bye guys